The South African grid has been very much developed around centralized coal-fired power stations. It's not unique to South Africa. There's the, the power grids internationally have been built around fossil fuels. It's typically around large centralized power stations that are fueled by gas or oil or, or coal or whatever it might be, or nuclear. And what this really points to is, is an urgent need to modernize the grid for the clean energy transition. And the clean energy transition is going to involve much larger amounts of variable power um, coming from wind and solar. So power that is generated according to when the wind blows and, and, and the sun shines. And what that really requires is, is much greater flexibility in the power system opening up the power, the power markets or the electricity market so that there can be more participation of these embedded, typically what are called, called embedded or distributed generation resources that are much, much more spread out than the traditional coal-fired model. But we also see the threat potentially um, driven by the cost gap effectively when renewables are so much cheaper than the grid, the threat of, of this grid defection, which, which really has the potential to create a power system in South Africa that is not ideal for for the average South African citizen. You know, for the economy, what we really want is clean, but also reliable and, um, and low cost power, because that's effectively what drives job creation. It makes the manufacturing sector more competitive. It makes our mining outputs much more competitive globally. And really all, this, all of this requires quite considerable power sector reform. But there are a number of things that can be done immediately towards this new, um, this new modern power system. Um, that, that range from updating laws and regulations that are really outdated and only deal with fossil fuel technologies. There are a lot of science restrictions placed on embedded generators and renewable energy generators that are actually not linked to any technical or cost considerations. There's a serious need for, for all of the grid operators, which includes ESCOM and also the municipal uh, grid operators, to really work on modernizing tariff structures in South Africa so that people can participate in the grid and that you can have private generation and access to the grid, but in a way that fairly reflects the cost of using these public assets. And then finally, I think the, the, the bodies that are responsible for permitting and licensing and approvals of, of, of independent power producers and of all of these technologies and systems that, that want to interact with the grid and connect with the grid, these bodies need to be supported from the national level. They need to be upskilled. They need to, as far as possible, be standardized in terms of the way that they treat these, um, these systems. And we, you know, we don't want to be in a situation where we are failing to reform the power sector purely because of bureaucracy and red tape.